talked to somebody who was uh, with an organization that's making a lot of those tools. Uh, Jun Harada, you're the head of growth and communication at Signal. Uh, now, Signal is also a 501c3, or I believe Signal Foundation is a 501c3. And your mission is to develop open source privacy technology that protects free expression and enables secure global communication. Uh, to that degree, you've released the fantastic Signal app. It's an encrypted messaging app. I use it with my friends. I use it with my coworkers. Um, but how does encrypted messaging protect free expression? Uh, what other technologies are Signal uh, developing to promote these ideals? And how does the Earn It Act threaten your mission to promote uh, free expression online? Thanks, Dayton. Um, really happy to be here. Uh, definitely very much in line with the rest of the panelists uh, and Senator Wyden on the Earn It Act being uh, very much a threat to companies like Signal. Um, I think the best explanation I can give is, is the blog post uh, that we released back in April, um, which uh, was at the first onset of Earn It's uh, iteration. Um, we still feel very much uh, that the points we raised there are, are very relevant. Um, probably the, the most prominent point we, we mentioned was the Earn It Act, um, you know, so aggressively uh, comes after uh, technologies like us, software like us, that we would probably not be able to exist uh, in the US as we currently do. Um, and what we mean by that is uh, exactly what the other panelists have been saying, wherein you know, we, we look at uh, Signal and Signal's mission really as extending uh, a lot of the liberties and rights we have in our offline world to the online world. Um, you know, we all understand and, and the importance of, of privacy and private spaces in the offline space. As more of our lives move to the online space, we need to extend those same rights um, over into that space. And, and Signal really is, you know, designed to do that. Encryption is in effect almost a side effect of that. Encryption is the tool that we use to help keep these spaces private. Um, and so, you know, I think a lot of focus is on sort of the anti-encryption nature of uh, Earn It. Um, but really for us, we look at it as just an attack on free expression, an attack on uh, the privacies that we have in our lives and in, in every facet of our life, offline and online. Um, and so there really is not uh, a particularly clean way that the Earn It um, carves out space uh, for a company like us to exist. Um, you know, the Leahy Amendment that you mentioned and, and the other managers amendments, you know, are, are definitely, you know, interesting efforts uh, to try to create that space um, for, for companies like ourselves, but uh, fall pretty drastically short um, in being able to give us any peace of mind. Um, you know, I think the, the kind of top line topic uh, for us in general is trying to understand you know what it means to to service a, a large multitude of people you know we, we talked about activists and we talked about um sort of private citizens in general who who use signal for a variety of different reasons um and 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 for us the the reasoning for using encrypted services you know definitely needs to move out of the the idea that there's something to hide and there's a secret that you need to keep um and in effect it's, it's akin to having a conversation that you want to keep outside of other people's ears and as simple as that. And we all have conversations that, you know, we just don't feel are necessary for other people to necessarily hear or, or engage in. And, and that's effectively what uh, we're aiming to build with Signal. That's, that's uh, very helpful for me to understand. Thank you very much. And um, Seth mentioned that Tech Workers Coalition of San Diego is writing a letter to Kamala Harris. Um, do, do lawmakers reach out to Signal? Do lawmakers uh, reach out to companies and, and uh, like yours and organizations like yours to understand how these laws are going to impact the internet and commerce? I mean, I, I know that uh, um, you know, you, uh, Signal operates differently. It's a 501c3 than for-profit companies, but this is gonna impact apps. It's gonna impact Facebook Messenger. It's gonna impact you know, secure banking and other other things we use encrypted communications to protect doctors appointments, things like this. Have lawmakers reached out to you? Are you in contact with these lawmakers? Are they listening to what people in the industry are saying? 
Um, we very rarely uh, have lawmakers reach out to us. Um, I think the, the one time and probably the most poignant is back in 2016 uh, when we were served uh, and forced to uh, give up um, information regarding a very specific uh, phone number that they had access to. Um, and you can go on our website and, and see what we ultimately um, had to deal with there. And all, you know, for us, we have nothing. We don't know anything about um, our user base. We have no information that we necessarily store that would allow um, law enforcement any useful uh, recourse. Um, and so I think to that end, we generally um, have been uh, you know, not considered and, and there are much, much larger organizations that are, uh, you know, I think taking up the, the space um, for that conversation. You know, for us at the end of the day, um, we feel that uh, I think that there is a potential novelty to encryption. And there's, a, there's this idea that um, I think other panelists have mentioned, you know, that if there's nothing to hide, why do you need it? Um, but, uh, you know, the thesis that, that I think about often is uh, communicating uh, via signal or being via end-to-end -end encryption um, is quite normal when you think about sort of the properties of offline and online. Um, and any service that doesn't offer that level of privacy in terms of communication is quite strange and abnormal. Um, and, and so for us, you know, we definitely want to see the proliferation of encryption at large. Um, we think protecting people's communication and, and helping to ensure more private spaces can exist online um, is only a boon for everybody.